Continuing, it suggests improving the readability of uh, the code. Here you notice that the code actually uses sensible variable names rather than the poor variable names that the original code had. And in this case, it calculates the BMR and the uh, IBW, but only for males. So here it has calculated this for males, and similarly it has done this only for males. So both models we have seen make assumptions about what it is that we want. You observe that both models assumed that we wanted the input in inches and the weight in pounds. And this model further assumed that we only wanted these calculations for males. In contrast, the code that ChatGPT originally produced provided the information for both males and females, but it asked us to tell whether the particular patient was a male or a female. So it's important to keep in mind that the code that AI produces will often contain assumptions and it is up to us as humans guiding AI to make sure that we provide enough detail so that the model doesn't make these assumptions. As we review the code, we might observe the model making assumptions and then it's important to continue the chat, as we now will, and tell it to fix those assumptions.